the advice that I would give any young woman, particularly when they're going for a new job, is when somebody sits there and asks you, and they shouldn't ask you this, but they do, what is your salary expectation? Flip that question and say, look, could you tell me what the salary band is for this role? And I can tell you if that fits within my expectations for the role. Just flip the question. Do it again, do it with respect and do it with uh, confidence. And that way we will see more women paying, uh, this, being paid the same as men for doing that similar sort of role. Take every opportunity and run with it. Don't ever question why you have been asked or why you have been given an opportunity. And don't ever say I'm not going to do it because I'm a girl because I'm a female. I have seen so many women say, I'm not going to take it, I was only offered it because I was a girl. It doesn't matter why you're offered it, what matters is that you're given the opportunity and you make the most of it. Get a diversity of experiences, um, because that's useful not only for your own you know, knowledge and expertise, but also for the um, for the projects and programs and policies that you're working on to be able to, you know, for one sector to learn from another or for one role type to, to learn from another. I think that's really valuable. Networks, networks, networks. I think the importance of networks, both within the um, workplace but also outside of the workplace for women, and I'll explain that, are absolutely critical. And men are much better at naturally creating those networks. I think for women, there's always this idea, particularly within the workplace, that if you do a good job, you'll get recognised and tapped for that next thing. And I just don't think that's right. I think it's important to recognise there's always politics and networks within a workplace and you need to understand them and work within them. And that stakeholder management piece is critical.